just to piggyback off of kind of what Ani was talking about, um, you know, your USA basketball experience, like going to Spain, have you ever been out of the country before? Have you ever experienced, you know, a different culture? And obviously that style of play is a little bit different than what we have here in the United States. Uh, no, this, this trip has been my first time being out of the country and it was a lot of fun being out there as well. Nice. So do you feel like basketball wise that, um, what did the USA basketball experience teach you? You know, like just, you know, like you said, you, you've never experienced it. You've never been out of the country. You know, the style of play is different. Like, do you have anything that you can pinpoint that you feel like it was like your biggest takeaway from the experience? No, definitely getting used to being uncomfortable in new areas, being like so far away from home and not knowing what everyone's saying. It's definitely oh, an adjustment. I know how that is being overseas for sure. So, Dennis, did you like the food? I mean, did, you know, how many of the guys did you know? Did you did you like, man, I barely even know these guys. It's not like you've been playing on that elite circuit with them before. You know, how did that go? And obviously you adjusted in and I'm sure it was a great experience. But how did that go? Just like eating different food and then meeting the guys on the team. You know, the food was definitely adjusting because the, the way they cook things out there is definitely different. But the adjustment <laughs> with the players, uh, I've known some of them since the previous camps. Okay. And meeting some of the newer ones wasn't too difficult once you, you know, once you get to talk to each other. Sure. That's good. That's good. Dennis, um, I got to just when uh, when y'all were working and when y'all practicing out in Dallas, I got to, you know, kind of get I got a little bit of intel about you. Uh, you know, they talked about how you like to get up at 6 a.m. and work out uh, every morning and uh, like, you know, even with a lot of your recruitment blowing up and everything like that. Uh, you know, you, they say you just stay humble. You're just about the work and the grind. Uh, first, talk about your day to day. Like, what does a day look like for you as far as working out? And just how do you handle all the attention that just comes to you in such a short period? Uh, well, to start the day off, I usually wake up around 430, make sure I can get something to eat before I go work out. Uh, once once I'm in the gym, I'm just now we're focusing more on like on the offensive end, getting my offense caught up with where I am defensively, hopefully. Sure. Have to balance out soon, but like uh, adjusting to like the, all the attention was it was it was definitely an adjustment, but something that wasn't too difficult. Luckily, nice. Do you do you work out once a day or twice a day? Like you have a morning workout, maybe like a weight schedule, or like what what else do you have going for the rest of your day? I have a I have a morning workout. I have a weight schedule after that, and sometimes like every now and then I'll do like a well. Every other day, I would do like another basketball workout for more footwork stuff. Nice, good. It's great, Dennis. So that, that that's paying off. It seems like it's helping you very rapidly. When did you first start getting serious about the game? Tell us what your you know what your first experience with organized ball is. When, when did you start getting serious about the game? Uh, I feel like I started getting more serious after my freshman year. You know, I started to see that it's, it's actually is a really good opportunity for me to play something that I want to for a long time. And did you know, like, were you already on a small travel team or did you already know Coach Kool-Aid? Were you already, like, in with Team Inland or did that come later? Uh, I already started with Team Inland, like, the year before. But I wasn't I wasn't coached by Coach Kool-Aid at the time. <laughs> Why? Why? He just didn't want, why he wanted you to come up to the main team and, like, make sure you – were you on a younger team? I was on the younger team at the time, but he ended up pulling me up, like, uh, I think towards the beginning of my freshman year. 